Good coffee. Hey guys, Robert Ham here with RobertHamPhotography.com. I've given you another weekly update right now. This is the week of July 10th, 2017, and this is a big week, guys. Lots of exciting stuff going on. First of all, I don't know, lots of times you save the best for last, but right now all of this could have taken the number one spot. However, in terms of viewer anticipation for something special, do you see this? <laughs> do you see this? Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I am so excited. I can't wait. This is the TL70. It is unopened, mint camera. Gary, Joe, the team over there in Hong Kong, you guys are absolutely awesome. I want to thank you for sending me this unit to review. I cannot wait to see what is inside. My viewers and subscribers here on YouTube have been asking for this, and this is amazing that you've, uh, you've partnered with me in this, so I am so excited. And for all my viewers out there, I want to just reach out, help me reach out and say thank you. Just reply thank you down here, let Gary, let Joe, let everybody over there at Mint Camera know how much this means to you. So um, for you guys at Mint Camera, I'm excited. I plan on doing a five part video series on how to use this camera, putting it through its paces. I'll also plan on doing a uh, viewer on the street portraits for you guys and for me, that's going to focus that amazing wrap that uh, we've designed specifically for the Instax film. And I've got to get with Mint Camera. I would love to be able to use Mint Camera's uh, logo in a limited use to say thank you for all the people that are going to be partaking in the portraits. And who knows who they are? They don't even know who they are, but I'd love for the wrap that I've developed, um, or had developed, I should say, I'd love for that to say thank you, uh, produced on a TL70 by Mint Camera. I'd love to be able to use uh, the logo type for that one particular purpose. I think it would be awesome. And, uh, you know, how cool is that? So this, guys, I, I don't even know where to begin. Of course, an unboxing will follow today. So if you're watching this video on July 10th, you will also see an unboxing this evening. And um, how... <laughs> How exciting. Uh, moving right along, uh, swag. Okay, guys, so for those of you that know, um, I've got a box camera that I'm trying to bring to market, and uh, I can't give away all the details, all the specialty stuff, but this is traditional box camera, lots of fun. And in order to help support it, I've got some swag, some sponsorship swag, which is going to be popping up. Uh, well, you'll see the actual company logo and things like that. Things like t-shirts, things like polo shirts, things like hats. Now, this pricing is going to go directly for sponsoring us and helping me bring this to market. There's some things that uh, need some finances in order to tie up. So there's two great things. Uh, these shirts and hats and things that you'll purchase. If you want to support me, it'd be great. Once you see it, you'll see a PayPal button down here. Uh, click your size, all that other good stuff. I'll have next week all of that information up. But the whole purpose is to help support the box camera that we're bringing to market and also uh, give you a couple things. So the first thing that it gives you is, of course, the shirt, which is really nice, or the hat, whichever you purchase, but also gives you a coupon code for the purchase of um, a uh, the, the box camera once it comes out, which is pretty neat. So if you spend $25 on a shirt, you'll get that $25 also off later on. So it's just like putting money in the bank. It's kind of helping me pre-fund some of this. Remember that once this gets going, it actually will be on a Kickstarter. And so having a successful Kickstarter takes a lot of time with research and development. For example, I've been working with a, um, a very uh, well-known guitar maker in order to produce the Signature Edition boxes. And I've got some uh, production uh, capabilities as well at the house for 3D printing but we want to be able to take this mainstream. So there's some machining and some tooling that needs to be done. And that's what this will help support. More information will follow, but I thought you'd like to know about the cool sponsorship swag. Rounding us out today, box camera updates. Okay, so first of all, uh, I am excited. I can't share with you who I've been working with so far, but there's a guitar maker in the United States that uh, makes guitars by hands. I've been following the guy for six, eight months. If you don't know I love guitars and musical instruments, I've always thought about building a guitar one day and um, you know this guy caught my eye a few months ago and so it's a channel that I follow on Facebook it's a channel that I follow uh, the social media streams because I just like the style in his videos and things and you know that's the cool thing about social networking you get to know someone that you wouldn't really get to know so we've had a couple conversations and uh, I think we're gonna have some good synergy and the ability to bring these custom edition boxes that are handmade by someone with this kind of craftsmanship and worksmanship and experience is going to add a lot to the team for these high-end models. 
and it's going to bring a lot of value to you guys too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about pricing info. There's been a lot of questions. I'm thinking that uh, the Kickstarter campaign will pop um, uh, pop off with about a $99 to $129 price point for the box camera for a um, a base model. And then there will be different additions going all the way up to a handcrafted model. Some of them will be kind of in between. Most people will want will be right around two to three hundred dollars for different trim levels and kits and stuff like that. But uh, sound off down in the comments below. Uh, let's make sure that we recognize what I'm thinking about for the uh, the entry model uh, is a nice uh, traditional bookbinding process that gives us the buck rim of the chipboard with a leatherette box covering and then uh, die cast machined pieces that actually cover the front and the back plate. And then of course optics, uh, glass optics uh, in it and then a rotary shutter and a custom cartridge design that accepts 120 film. For the higher end signature options I'm thinking about uh, custom made mortise and tenon joints for the box and then uh, nice coverings on the inside out of things like walnut and cedar with complementary trim and then for the custom edition, limited editions which will uh, which would be uh, higher than the $300 price point. For those of you that want something that's completely personalized, uh, you'll have custom inlays and things like that. And that's where um, the Luthier that I've been contacting, really, their experience really shines. So for most of us, probably the $100 to $200 price range for a nice either uh, basically buckram bound or leather bound or, uh, you know, cedar or just a nice uh, wooden enclosure. So those, those are kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I'm not at a point where I want to share anything with you because I want to get my machining process down just a little bit further, but we're in the middle of it. And some of the fabric ones have actually, I'll show you a side profile, some of them have already been designed a little bit and are pretty cool. And I'm excited about that. Continuing on, I want to let you know there will be a developer preview. Okay, this is a paid developer preview, but it does two things for you. Number one, um, it helps me fund uh, what we're going by getting some pre-orders and receives a completely 3D printed box in a working condition but without the retail finish or packaging. And that gets it into the hands of you guys out there that actually develop and scan your film at the house. And that'll help you give me input in order to be able to finalize the design and the machining process. And we're about a month away from that right now. What ends up happening is the paid developer preview will immediately equate to a limited edition box. So I'm thinking about something like $100 or you know, $150 for the developer preview that you would get the prototype unit. You would um, also have to sign a non-disclosure so you don't go take my schematics and, and go, but also become a partner with this. Get your name on my uh, sponsorship board where it goes through. We'll do a feature for the images that you've created with it as the product launches. And then once the product launches, you'll get one of the limited edition custom wood designs. So basically uh, a $300 box camera and the production run would be uh, turned into you one of the limited edition, signature editions uh, in, a, in advance and as kind of a thank you. So you pay the, uh, you pay the base price uh, upfront to help me develop it. You get to keep the uh, prototype kit. And then on the end, once the wooden ones are in production, you get that. And I'm thinking October, November, Novemberish timeline for those. Guys, the whole idea is to reach these boxes and get them out to you by Christmas for the limited editions and begin shipping in October. That's where we are right now. And that's kind of a big update. As soon as everything is ready to go, uh, I'll be moving over to a Facebook where you'll get all of that information on Facebook and then the website and then Kickstarter. Uh, but that's where we are right now. I am so excited about all of this. You guys know I'm passionate about photography. I love this stuff. I've been tinkering with lenses and cameras for years. Uh, I've made little pinhole cameras. I think they're so cool. And to be able to bring something like this to you guys is really neat. And I'm excited about that. And also to, to be able to be a partner, to be a part of something like this with Mint Camera, this, this is an opportunity that I never dreamed would happen. You know, I mean, how cool is that? I mean, just it's just amazing to, to reach out and be a part of something from literally half a world away from me. So I cannot stress how thankful I am to Mint Camera, to Gary, to Joe for being my, my contact for all that stuff. You guys, um, man, you guys have done something special for me, and I it won't be forgotten. I'll appreciate it. Well, until next time, guys, I'm going to catch you on the flip side. I want to remind you, keep shooting, and I want to thank you for watching.